and in the Netherlands, a radical Muslim acted on his beliefs, stunning his country by killing one of its most famous men. Amsterdam, November 2004. and shocking murder. The victim, the great-grandnephew of artist Vincent van Gogh. The killer, Mohamed Bouyeri, a homegrown radical Muslim. Bouyeri gunned down Theo van Gogh as he rode his bicycle and then he cut his throat, nearly decapitating him. And this whole killing of Van Gogh in, in, in Bouyeri's uh, ill mind uh, was a sort of holy killing, a sort of sacrifice, like killing an animal. A holy killing in the Netherlands, a country known for its windmills, its canals, and its tolerance. A new battlefront between God's Muslim warriors and the West. Bouyeri was part of a Dutch terrorist cell called the Hofstadt Group. Another member had plans to blow up government buildings and kill politicians in Parliament in a suicide bombing. Just as you have spilled the blood of Muslim citizens in Iraq, we will spill your blood here. Many of the group's members were sent to prison. I traveled to the Netherlands to find that this country's once tiny Muslim community has swelled to more than a million in a country of 16 million. Across Europe, Islam is the fastest growing religion, the number of Muslims tripling in the last 30 years. This increased Muslim presence and violence like the Van Gogh murder play into the hands of right-wing politicians like Hurt Wilders, a member of the Dutch parliament. Yes, here we have nine seats. Who fears the Dutch are losing their country to an alien culture. The party he's founded has staked its political future in large part on an anti-Islam platform. He's proposed shutting down immigration from non-Western countries and banning burqas and niqabs, the head-to-toe coverings worn by some Muslim women, even though very few here wear them. Why have you chosen Islam as your battleground, so to speak? Islam um, is, I believe, um, one of the most major threats uh, to the West uh, and also to Western Europe and to the Netherlands uh, today, and, and more especially the radical Islam, is a major threat to our society. Those are people that hate everything um, that we stand for and are proud to use every means possible um, um, to kill us. Do you fear for your life? I fear from those individuals who feel that they will go to heaven by killing me. I fear for my life. Ayan Hirsi Ali has reason to fear. A former member of the Dutch parliament, her name was on a death threat stabbed to Theo van Gogh's chest. Her crime? She had collaborated with van Gogh to make this provocative film called Submission. It is an indictment of the way some Muslims mistreat women. Hirsi Ali was born in Somalia and raised in a devout Muslim family. She rebelled when her father chose a man for her to marry. You bolted? I bolted, yes. I went to Holland and started to lead a different life. I removed my headscarf, I started to wear trousers, I started to ride on bicycles and I made friends of the infidels, the Dutch. She became a Dutch citizen, then an atheist and an outspoken critic of Islam. In 2003, she was elected to Parliament. She says that even in Europe, religious tradition dominates many immigrant Muslim households and women are subjugated by family members, suffering abuse and even death. Fathers who, when girls choose to go finish school or find their own boyfriends, beat them or kill them. That's happening today? In Holland in Germany, 
in France, in the UK, they will say it's because of my religion and you need to respect my religion.